A not so wise man once told me, flirting can be memorable, dating can be magical, but getting laid, that is legendary. However, all actions have consequences and one thrilling night can end up impacting your health. As the title and the thumbnail of this video suggested, it will be on the SDI, Chlamydia. We will cover what it is, how it is caused, what its possible symptoms are, how you can prevent it with some tips and tricks and a possible treatment plan. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. And if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate my viewers so they can make healthier decisions. And now quickly, a disclaimer, this video is meant purely informative. I'm just a medical doctor from the Netherlands. I know nothing about your personal situation. Therefore, always contact your own doctor for personal medical advice. Now let's continue. So let's start off by taking a closer look at chlamydia. As most of you know, it's a sexual transmitted infection, an STI, caused by the bacteria Chlamydia trachomonas, which explains its name, chlamydia. As mentioned, this bacteria can be transmitted during oral, vaginal or anal intercourse with someone who has the infection. And an unfortunate exception to this rule are pregnant women who can transmit the chlamydia bacteria through childbirth to their child. It's also important to explain that chlamydia can infect both men and women. In men, it can reside in his urethra, which is the tube through which a man pees, his rectum, which is the name of the last part of someone's intestines, ending at the anus, and his throat. In women, chlamydia may nestle in the cervix, which is the lower part of the womb, and again in the throat or in the rectum. And these locations explain why chlamydia is a sexual transmitted infection. Once infected, the incubation time, which is the time between being exposed and being able to infect others, is about two to six weeks. But after this period, a lot of people may remain asymptomatic which is the specific reason that make unprotective sexual adventures so dangerous. Because the infected person does not know he or she is infected, does not experience any symptoms, but can still infect others. Which explains the saying, better safe than sorry. Now women that may develop symptoms may experience the following, an abnormal vaginal discharge, which may smell strong, a burning sensation when peeing, and pain during intercourse. And men who are infected may experience a thick, cloudy, brown-yellowish, foul-smelling discharge from the penis, a burning sensation while peeing, and or constant pain, itching or burning of the opening of the penis or the testicles. Those symptoms sound embarrassing, maybe annoying, but make no mistake, chlamydia can also be dangerous, especially in women. Ultimately, an untreated infection can spread to the womb, potentially causing permanent damage, which can result in chronic pelvic pain or even infertility. In addition, a chlamydia infection might also spread to one of your joints, possibly causing an arthritis, and it might spread to your eyes, causing irritation, redness, and ultimately even blindness. And now you might think, oh indeed, chlamydia sounds severe, and I should possibly avoid it, but what are the chances that I would be infected with it? Well, depending on your hobbies and where you're living, the risk is substantial. As about 3.8% of all women and 2.5% of all men worldwide had chlamydia in 2015. And these last few years, two-thirds of new chlamydia infections in the US occurred among men and women between 15 and 24 years. And it's estimated that about 1 in 20 sexual active young women has chlamydia. These rates are high. But unfortunately, among several minority groups, the outliers are even higher. Among certain groups of African Americans, the rates were nearly six times higher. And among men who had sex with men, the infection rate can be between 3 and 10.5%. So chlamydia can be dangerous, and it's pretty common. So I hope this explains the reason why safe sex is so important. So chlamydia is pretty common and it's pretty dangerous as well. And I hope this fully explains why safe sex is so important. And by now you might start to worry, when should I contact my doctor? Which is a very good and very important question, which you can, if you pay attention, answer fully by yourself. Did you have any unprotected sexual intercourse these last weeks, two months? Or did you have multiple bad partners? Do you experience any of the previously mentioned symptoms? Do you have any other STI or do you worry about possibly having an STI? Then please contact your personal doctor. 
he or she can help you to find out the extent of your symptoms and can find if you possibly have an STI. Your doctor might do this by asking about your medical history, your current problems and symptoms, the medication you're using, and afterwards your doctor might do a physical examination, some urine and blood test, and in women, a vaginal swab test. If necessary, your doctor could also refer you to a medical specialist like a urologist, or your doctor could refer you to the subscribe button. No, all jokes aside, I make these videos while still having my day job as a doctor and it costs me a lot of effort. If you do appreciate this and if you do enjoy these videos, then consider subscribing. You would help out the channel a lot and click that like button as well. Now let's continue with some useful tips and tricks. Think twice before beginning sexual relations with a new partner. It's wise to first discuss past partners, STIs and drug use. Consider sexual activities other than vaginal, oral or anal sex. Use a condom and use a condom every time you do so, especially when doing so with a new partner. Avoid drinking alcohol or using drugs, as this can increase the chances that you will participate in high-risk sex. Have regular tests and checkups for STIs. And lastly, be aware of your own and your partner's body. And look for signs of sores, blisters, discharge, ulcers and rashes. And if you find any of these, then contact your doctor and do not have sex. Furthermore, if you tried all of these tips and they failed you, then it's time to visit your doctor. But luckily, not all hope is lost. Because a chlamydia infection can be treated and cured effectively with antibiotics. Most guidelines suggest azithromycin, doxycycline, erythromycin, levofloxin or ofloxin. And depending on the antibiotic your doctor prescribes, you might get a one-time dose or you may need to take the medicine every day for about seven days. And in all cases, it is important that you withhold having sex for at least seven days after starting to take the antibiotics. Otherwise, you can infect your partner or other partners again. Lastly, repeat infections are common, partly because people cling on onto their dangerous lifestyles. I hope this isn't you. I hope you learned a lot from this video and I hope you will never get a chlamydia infection. However, because of this reason, it is advised to get a retest three months after you had a chlamydia infection. Now, I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you interested, check out the playlist in the description with more awesome medical videos. As I already mentioned, I would appreciate it a lot if you leave the like, especially if you learned something, and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And you can help me to reach that goal by clicking that button. And in return, I will provide you with awesome medical content. For those of you that can't get enough, I also have an Instagram account at How to Medicate. I'm posting there not too often though, but I will be hopefully very soon. Lastly, a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your supporter. For those of you that are interested, that want to help out the channel in a special way, maybe try out Patreon. This will help out the channel tremendously. Thanks once more, and I will see you next week with new awesome medical videos. Bye-bye, and don't get an STI.